Alright guys, this is Joel Benavides. I'm uh, doing another test of the uh, up-and-coming revamp of the stream and podcast. Uh, so a lot of this is actually going to be behind-the-scenes testing. I'm not actually putting out an episode, but I am going to be doing a pre-stream uh, style format in a few minutes. Basically the stream that I put out before I run through the recorded version. Um, so for my own purposes... Uh, you can hang out if you want to. Uh, no hard feelings if you don't. Uh, so, uh, let's see. We're streaming. We're recording. Uh, we're looking at logo only. Uh, it's got the new cloud background. And it's the uh, Joel Benavides uh, logo versus the Block Squawk logo. New one. Uh, there I am uh, here with the uh, webcam only uh, webcam only and name because uh, we also have my uh, Twitter handle uh, disclaimer and logo up there at the top right hand corner of the screen uh, levels remain unchanged desktop audio is at negative uh, 24 and a half DB while the microphone is at 6.8 DB negative negative 6.8 DB excuse me uh, let's see and uh, all others are in place let's move on to left monitor only we're looking at left monitor only we're looking at uh, trading view Bitcoin on the uh, Bitfinex and um, and we got the little logo down there at the bottom right and then I'm sorry bottom left and I'm down there at the bottom right uh, and that is gonna do it for that screen let's take a look at the combo the combos got basically the same thing just in different spots with the trading view chat floating out there up in the clouds um, so uh, that's a little more busy I may or may not use it haven't decided yet and then of course uh, right monitor which is going to show you what I see over and over and over and over and over again and lastly which I don't think I'm going to use because I basically have the uh, the thing is is the candid uh, it's the um, basically the webcam only with the cloud background which I kind of don't like I think I might even get rid of it or I was also thinking about shrinking web webcam only and uh, having the, uh, the cloud in the background. Only problem is when I move to um, when I move to do the green screen, uh, which uh, will come eventually. Uh, I'll be floating through the clouds, which isn't. Uh, it's just a little cheesy. I mean, I might as well put like a picture of a freaking you know, a horse on a ranch in Wyoming back there. It's just like, really? So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'll leave webcam as is for now. Uh, I do like the cloud background, uh, and I, I may continue to use it for this one, for uh, a combo. I may ultimately end up switching that out for left monitor. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, so, uh, in preparation for the revamp, let's see... The other day we <clears throat> ran through a trading view post along with corresponding social media uh, outputs uh, and, uh, and, and then we did a follow up with that. So uh, today um, we are going to run through the pre-stream um, and we're going to start out with snapshots. Essentially I'm going to be, trade, I'm gonna be uh, dividing the podcast stream into three different sections. Um, and they may come throughout the day. They may come all at once. I just, I just don't know, guys. Uh, but uh, each one is going to kind of have its own uh, spoken disclaimer. Um, so with that said, uh, please keep in mind that nothing you hear on this podcast is trading advice or any kind of financial advice whatsoever. I'm not a trading uh, advisor or a... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not a uh, financial advisor. And so that is that if uh, you refer down to the bottom portion of your screen from time to time you may see the disclaimer uh, that holds true throughout the entire stream and podcast um, so let's start by looking at the uh, heat map um, and then we'll take a look at uh, the line chart here in just a minute let me just pull that up real quick um, and then we are going to do uh, some price commentary briefly on Bitcoin and then uh, we'll discuss coin of the day. And so uh, by default, uh, the coin of the day is going to be uh, Bitcoin. And uh, we'll just um, cover it briefly at that point. Uh, so let's get that up. 
Oh, and of course, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for us there. Uh, so let's jump on over to the heat map. Let's pull this up, Max. All right, so we're looking at the heat map of the market over the last 24 hour, guys. Bitcoin is down just over 1% at 8,707 and uh, 46 cents. Uh, Bitcoin Cash down similarly. BSV is up at about 5%. Uh, ETH is also slightly down. Uh, standouts, uh, I'm looking at, uh, well, none of the big ones apart from maybe IOTA and Cardano. Um, so Atom is also up there. Cosmic, I think it's Cosmic. That's kind of a new one. Um, so those are uh, big name standouts, but that's where, where the heat map looks, guys. And uh, this is only going to fluctuate slightly because we're kind of in a consolidation uh, period, getting ready for a big jump up or jump down. And we'll discuss that here shortly. Moving on, uh, let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart, right? So this is a Bitcoin chart. Let me get this out of the way. That's just my reference. Um, we're looking at a line chart, guys. So no complicated candles here. This is just for... Uh, those of you guys who are interested in a little bit of price commentary don't want to get too deep into the technicals of everything um, but I will uh, throw in some theory from time to time so uh, let's see uh, Bitcoin is down uh, 34 bucks uh, and uh, it's just kind of fluctuating it's actually kind of ranging here b between the range if you look uh, on the 26th at around 1800 uh, England time, Greenwich time, Universal time, however you want to cut it. Uh, it shot up from about 8012 to about 8910. And, uh, and so it was a nice big jump. Uh, and then it kind of came down a little bit. And we've been ranging here in between like the 8600 to like 8900 level. And so uh, solid, uh, solid $300 of. Uh, of consolidation range there on a single Bitcoin and what this means guys is if if you look at the chart right here we're looking at a one hour chart essentially each line or jump on this chart represents one hour uh, with the most current hour being right at the tip there and we're at 8790 cents right now by the way uh, so as we look at this we can see these big jumps right there's big jumps and then it ranges within it bounces up and down between uh, familiar levels we'll say it that way and then eventually at some point it'll bump up against one of these levels and it tends to shoot down or up in either direction and that's basically what it does guys we uh, as traders we call these uh, flagpoles rectangles triangles depending on how um, the uh, the formation looks basically um, but this is a uh, kind of like a chart pattern and there's reasons why this happens and it's related to supply and dem demand trader psychology uh, movements on the part of market makers basically like uh, how really wealthy investors who are trading this stuff uh, move currency in and out of Bitcoin uh, fiat currency in and out of Bitcoin so <clears throat> So we tend to see these big jumps and then it, it cools off. It's like a cooling off period, right? Um, and, uh, and they punch through these little levels that we call support and resistance levels. Um, we also have trends. And so uh, a lot of the times you can establish that it's either moving up or down. Uh, and uh, based on the levels that it, it repeats at the upper and lower end of that ascending or descending range, we can draw these little channels. Uh, it's not always perfect like this. Sometimes we have like trend zones and, and support and resistance zones rather than lines uh, just to kind of put a general feel to it. Uh, but that's basically the gist. And so we're in an ascending trend, right? An upward trend. Um, and, uh, you know, that may continue on. Or it may not. Uh, if we do end up going, say, down, uh, which would be like a reversal. We would see something like this, guys. Um, and it would go down for a little bit. Eventually, it would likely uh, 
keep in mind it's not trading advice again likely bounce off of one of these support and resistance zones and then continue its upward trend but we're looking at this process taking place over the course of uh, months guys I'm not saying that it's gonna go down it may continue to go up it may continue to go parabolic which is like way up um, but that's just the gist of things and so looking at the line chart we can see that uh, Bitcoin is going up and it's at 8700 right now um, we may not uh, go into that level of detail in future streams and podcasts I just wanted to kind of establish things with this test uh, video uh, but we are in an ascending trend as you can see um, and so uh, that's gonna do it for the chart uh, let's uh, discuss uh, coin market cap um, uh, coin of the day we're just gonna say it's Bitcoin we're all relatively familiar with Bitcoin so I'm not gonna uh, beat this dead horse and on top of that I am not the greatest um, uh, uh, technical and by technical I mean like a computer coding type analyst uh, I have read the Bitcoin uh, white paper and I've studied to get my CBP uh, but apart from that you know uh, Bitcoin is ranked number one by market cap uh, when Bitcoin according to coin market cap equals 86.93 right around 8700 uh, and it's got some related uh, things if you're not familiar with Bitcoin I'm not gonna go through the whole spiel um, but uh, it's basically magic internet money it can't be um, duplicated in most cases if not all cases extremely secure uh, you can't double spend it it's fungible extremely fungible uh, you can't make more of it so it's extremely rare and there are uh, very complicated reasons for all this all kind of tied into extremely advanced and powerful cryptography um, so uh, we can get into the discussion of what makes money money later uh, this is the uh, website for Bitcoin um, and um, using the right apps and dApps and and uh, protocols you can use it to make mobile payments you can get paid in Bitcoin um, one of my favorite Bitcoin evangelists is Andreas Antonopoulos uh, he's got a couple of interviews where he comes out on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast and so that would be like a really good primer for you guys to start there but anyway uh, that that does it for coin of the day Bitcoin is the coin of the day and um, and that's gonna do it for us for this segment of the block squad podcast we'll be back in just a few moments or maybe days i don't know i don't know how this uh test stream is going to play out uh but keep in mind uh that uh, this is a uh kind of like a test video i'm not even going to announce it it's just going to kind of it's just going to go out onto uh the website but it's not going to get cataloged as part of any kind of um you know it's not gonna go with the rest of them uh, but we'll be back uh, what is it 28 so like yeah in a couple of days we'll be back uh, hitting it hard uh, hopefully every single day um, so that's gonna do it for us for now uh, pretty decent kept us uh, down to just a few minutes right now it's 7 50 p.m. CST and of course universal time is wait for it uh, 50 minutes past midnight it's almost 1 a.m. universal time uh, we just formed the uh, new daily candle and so uh, but we'll get all into that into technically speaking and block talk on block squawk uh, in the in the following segments so uh, that's gonna do it for us remember that Bitcoin is listener supported you can head on over to anchor.fm forward slash block squawk and strike that uh, subscribe this podcast button and help immensely guys immensely with the longevity and uh, eventual improvement of the block squawk podcast um, there are other services like this, other YouTube channels, etc., uh, that are really excellent. So if I'm not streaming and sometimes, you know, sometimes I'll host those channels and stuff like that. Definitely check it out because there's some really, uh, there's some really excellent traders out there, but there's also like charlatans and stuff like that. And people who are going to tell you that they know more or trade better than they actually do. Uh, and this f personally for me is more like a, like a documentation of my journey into crypto. Um, and so I just want to stress that, uh, but that's going to do it for us guys. I'm going to get out of here. 
uh, uh, at least for a few minutes, take my first break, and we'll see you back in a few for Block Talk with Block Scott, where we're going to discuss the news and a few other things. So we'll see you later. Cheers. <laughs>